Hey, Sneakers back again tonight. Right, tonight we have the full release of Zuban 2 1710, the Aardvark thing. Okay. Now remember, I've done the beta a, f a few weeks ago, and it seemed to be okay. This one is even better, because there was a freeze, obviously, and they've done something in the mix. Because it's just a little bit better, basically, in a day. Now, I installed this about an hour and a half ago and put some stuff on it, just to see how it goes on this old dodgy drive, okay? And it seems to be working super fine at the moment. I'll be really honest with you. Here's my little file that's recording, because I'm just playing around with this one. It won't be a full install on this drive, because I don't think it's got long to go, to be honest with you. It's, it's going to die real, real soon. As you can see, I've installed Docky down here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to play around with it and see how things are installed. And everything's gone super fine, basically. So if we click on our browser here, Okay, and we'll go to Zubuntu. And those are our bings. I've just checked it out before I've done the video. We'll check it out. We'll click there. Zubuntu. Take a little look. Download. So you can still get the 1604 variant, okay, which is the LTS. I mean, I probably will hold out for the next LTS, but I don't know. I might just run it anyway. Who knows? But this is where you get the latest release, which is 1710. Remember, it only gets nine months worth of updates. It's a short one. And it's still in 32-bit, under torrent, anyway. Shall we see if it's in 32-bit under anything else? Let's have a look. Uh, yes. So 1710 under Zubuntu is still 32-bit, if you want a 32-bit version, which I like quite a bit. Well, not really me. I've got 64-bit. But some of you are running older machines might want 32-bit. Okay, so that's super fine. Okay, what else can I say about it? I've installed quite a few stuff on it, by the way. So you've got the usual, it's all the usual, except for the stuff I've installed. So if I go to recently used, I've installed Synaptic. And I'll tell you about that in a second, right? The reason why I've installed it, okay? A bit of a, a bit of a dinger. I installed Simple Screen Recorder, because I'm recording it now. Open Shot, Caden Live, Docky for a little dock down the bottom, okay? And Discs. So I'm going to open up Discs for you, so you can see what's going down, okay? Now as you can see, it's nearly all free, okay? So if we go here and we go to Smart Data and Self-Testing, this is the last test I did on it. And basically, it's saying it's pre-fail and old age. Unfortunately, the powers on ours is only 6 months and 23 days. Now, that's not very good value, is it? Now, I'm sure it came with a 3-year warranty, so I'm going to look into that to see if I can get a freebie replacement, because that's not very good whatsoever. Uh, let's go down here. Blah, blah, blah. Head flying hours, six months, 26 days. Old age, not good. Okay. Temperature's still okay. It's a really, really big case I've got, by the way, so it shouldn't get hot at all. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fans in this case, including the two for the walk cooling section. So it should be super fine. But as I've said in previous videos, I'm not really happy, okay? It should have lasted an awful lot longer than this. In actual fact, on my other system, the disk in here, which is running Linux Lite, is an even older disk, which is one about four years older, and it runs super fine. Okay, and, but it's a Western Digital. This one's a Seagate. I never normally buy Seagates. I bought a Seagate for a simple reason. It came with the uh, SSD add-on on the top. Okay, a, a pre-add-on. So it's a hybrid drive. I thought that might do it for me. But no, it didn't. Unfortunately. Okay, so that's another reason. Okay, so that's out of the way. Another thing I don't like, right? Because you know it's using snaps as well now at the moment. I don't have a big deal with snaps. But look what happens here. You get a loop device for the snaps you've installed. So I've got one for Discord here. One for Simple Screen Recorder. I don't like that at all. Uh, another one here. I've got a couple here anyway. And they're all snaps. But they will make their own mini drives. I no lag. No. So I'll be getting rid of them... And just install them properly, okay? Snaps might be okay for most people. I don't like it, okay? It's just, that's just me. Because I'm old and grumpy, and I'm allowed to be. No. Okay. That's that bit out of the way. Oh, my God. But apart from that, everything runs really, really fast and super, as you can see. Yeah, I know I've got a, a good processor and everything, but it will run really, really good. Uh, old four-core processor. Sneaky Boy's going between um, this, which is going through 1710, and Sparky for his own system, which is a Q6600 and a GTX 750 Ti. Because he likes playing games, okay? 
and that should do him hunkily of the dory at the end of the day, shouldn't it? When you think about it. But the usuals here, desktop settings, you get plenty of wallpapers, as I've shown you before in the beta. Okay, I'll change it to one more. Should we change it to the bumblebee? Yeah, we'll change it to the bumblebee. It's very yellow, though, isn't it? Very, very yellow. Everything works as expected, as you would expect from a Zubuntu release. Okay, not just too happy with snaps, though. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I'll learn to love them. Who knows? But yeah, that's a really quick one. On Zubuntu 17.10, full release. Yes, today. Yeah, I know. Sneaky. The next out. As he says, bye-bye.